Shoot him. Boom. What's up, y'all? Welcome back to another Bobby Guy Films. Today we're going to be talking about cleaning and retuning your double reed duck call. So before we get started, I want you all to go drop a comment below. Tell me what your favorite double or single reed duck call is. I always get good advice from you guys, so uh, let me know down below. But today, let's get to this duck double read call cleaning video, shall we? So let's say you're in the field yet again and your double read duck call starts squawking and banging and flapping and sounding like it's broke and choked and who knows what. You take that thing apart in the field after blowing to the end, <laughs> blowing back through it. After blowing it, trying to clear it, you take it apart. You lift it up, you don't have nothing really bad in there, nothing between the reeds. Okay, it's pretty clean. I don't know what's wrong with this sucker. We need to go home and clean it a little more, shall we? So come on home, take that sucker apart. I got me a little screwdriver to pry the wedge of cork out. So pry that wedge of cork out just a hair. Let's take it apart. There we go. So notice this is a wood call. I don't like getting these real wet, so I'm not going to go clean this in, in hot water. I don't like getting them soaked. They just soak up too much moisture, and all this will expand in the internals, and that's what you don't want if you have a wooden call. But anyways, I'll take it to the air compressor and blow it out a little bit if needed. On the reeds, we we'll take cork out. we got both reeds. Whoops. we got the top and the bottom. The bottom reed's obviously going to be bigger than the top. On this top reed, you can tell that the top is, is uh, cocked back a little bit, bent back on the edge. If you can see that, I'm sorry if you can't right there. That's just to give it a little more raspy sound. <clears throat> so we're going to go clean these off in hot water and be right back. So we have cleaned our two reeds. And <clears throat> just a side note, guys, if you ever buy a call and you want to really know how good and how long they spent, how much time they spent making that call, and if it's worth your money. You can compare call brands and just look at their cuts. You can, these are all mainly scissor cuts on, the, on, these, on these reeds. Compare their cuts, see if they're even cuts, how, they, how both reeds line up. This goes for the single reed too. See how their cuts are, I can see that this is off a little bit. Usually don't matter a lot, a lot but you can really tell how much quality they really put into their stuff. Not talking any smack on any calls in general, especially not these. I like these calls, but um, just check it out. So, we got both of our reeds clean. Now, we are going to, I already cleaned this. I blew it out. We're going to put it all back together. So, first of all, this is my bottom reed. I'm going to bend it just a little bit, see which way it bends. I'll usually flip it. See which way it bends, and it bends the same way. So I know that way that it bent is down. Do the same with the top reed. Bend it. Oh, that way's down. I'll flip it just to check it. That way's down. So both reeds down, down. We're going to overlap them. Dog ears go out to the, to the end. This goes to the base. We're going to slide them right in the channel. Now, when you do this, make sure you line these up just perfect. However good they're cut is how good you're going to be able to line them up. So, take your cork. I usually throw it in my mouth, get, get it wet with some saliva. There's my cork. Got some good old spit up on her. I'm going to slide that cork back on up in there. Make sure my reeds are seated all the way back. So, I'm checking before I really get that in there. Slide it back with my finger. We're looking good. That looks good. I'll take me a little screwdriver, put it on the end of the cork, pull it back into place, kind of push it around if it needs, but make sure your reeds are nice, tight, and pushed all the way back. And there we are. I'm gonna slide it back together. Oh, before, before, sorry, don't slide it together. Wet this O-ring. I always do, they get dry, they will break and cause you all kinds of hell and you won't be able to build the pressure in the chamber if you, if you lose the o-ring essentially. But there we go, she's nice and back together, our double reed call. And I'll overblow that one too. I haven't called for about three months, so 
So, there we are. I hope you guys enjoyed that one. If you did, I'll have a goose one coming up right after this one. So go check out the goose call video getting ready to come on up. And I welcome you guys back. I'm always doing waterfowl tips and how-tos, especially this summer coming up before this new waterfowl season come, comes up. So tell your friends, tell your family, tell your dog, tell your Aunt Pappy. Yes, I said Aunt Pappy. To come on, see the channel, and come on back, y'all. Have a good one. Peace.